Hi everyone, and welcome to our last episode of Murrow Minutes Goes Virtual for the fall 2020 semester. We're really excited to talk to you today about just some end of semester tips and reminders uh, before you head out for a Christmas vacation and come back in spring 2021. So today I have two of our Murrow ambassadors here. Uh, they'll introduce themselves in just a minute to talk about how to schedule with your advisor, some end of semester tips that they've experienced now that they've been through this process a couple of semesters, and then we'll close out with a really big congrats to our December 2020 grads. Uh, so Katie, I'll turn it over to you if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you, Mackenzie. My name is Katie Duncan. Um, I am the president of the Murrow Ambassadors. You guys have seen me here on Murrow Minutes Goes Virtual a few times. Uh, just a reminder, I'm a senior here at the Murrow College studying public relations and risk and crisis communication. Great. Thanks, Katie. Uh, Anna, I'll turn it over to you. Oh, no, go for it, Anna. Hi, guys. I'm Anna. I'm also a senior at the Murrow College. Um, I am studying public relations and multimedia journalism. Great. Well, thank you both for being here with us today. I think the first thing that I would like to do is turn it over to both of you to talk about some of the end, end of semester tips that you have for us as we get closer to the finals and, you know, ending the semester before we head back into spring 2021. So Katie, I'll turn it over to you first if you want to talk about any of the end of semester tips that you have. Yeah, so I have been through this time of year a few times before, so I understand it can be very stressful and it takes a lot of time and energy, and especially with the kind of ever-changing um, digital environment we're in and being in school um, online, it can be an added little stress um, moment. <laughs> so I think my biggest tip for everyone is just to really take time these next couple weeks as we move through dead week and finals week to really take care of yourself and really prioritize that self care. I think it can be easy to fall down the school rabbit hole and get very stressed. And I'm not saying to neglect any of your school responsibilities, but I would say make sure you're taking that time out of your day to do your favorite hobby or go for a walk, get some fresh air, um, whatever you like to do to kind of de-stress us. I think that's really important as we move into finals and will help you be successful as we close out the fall 2020 semester. Thanks, Katie. That's a great tip. Um, I think that self-care and making sure that you're getting up from the computer particularly is very, very important. So um, Anna, do you have anything that you want to add for end of semester tips for us? Yeah, I mean, like Katie said, the last two weeks of a semester can always get pretty overwhelming, especially your very first year here at WSU. Um, for me, my biggest tip for these last two weeks would be use your time really effectively. I know I use dead week kind of like a pre-finals week and I fill out my planner at the start of the week with all of my to-dos um, and things I wanna focus on and then things that you know could wait a little bit. Um, so yeah, really use your time wisely so you don't get super overwhelmed that last week because it can happen. So yeah, use your planner. Thanks, Anna. That's a great tip as well. I know even faculty and staff can get really busy towards the end of the semester. So kind of planning out our time, whether you use an online calendar platform, something on your phone, or if it's a physical calendar, really blocking out all of that time. Um, something else that I think our students, in addition to that, should uh, watch out for is to make sure you don't forget to do any of your assignments or finals now that we are online. So for those of you that haven't done this before, making sure you pencil those in so you don't forget to wake up for your online final or submit an assignment by the deadline. So planners can really help with that. Uh, so thank you both for sharing those end of semester tips with us. As a staff member, as the recruiter here in Murrow, um, as, as an advisor, I think the only tip that I would have to share um, it's very similar to Katie's where the most important thing I think we can all do right now is really take care of ourselves. And one important reason for that is so we can help take care of other people. If you don't take care of yourself properly, it's really challenging to take care of your friends and family and things like schoolwork. So like Katie said, take a walk, take a break, um, really use the time over winter to recover and stay healthy so we can get back to in-person here in Pullman as soon as possible. So those are our end of semester tips for everyone, but we also have been getting a few questions from students about things like advising, and again, how to read that spring 2021 schedule. We know those things are really confusing right now, so we just wanted to add a couple more questions here in this video for you. 
So I think Katie's gonna talk about how to read your spring 2021 schedule. And then we'll turn it over to Anna, who's gonna talk about how to schedule with your academic advisor. If you have questions about your spring 2021 schedule, or if you're already ready to start planning for summer 2021 and fall 2021. Uh, so Katie, why don't you go ahead and start us off with talking about the schedule. Yeah, so this is new for all of us and it can kind of be confusing with all the codes we have now on our schedules. So I'm just gonna go down um, the kind of top two different ones that you guys are gonna see on your um, schedules this semester and what those mean. So if you're looking at your schedule in a class that's web arranged or web ARR, that is gonna mean it's gonna be meeting on Zoom. So that means that you're gonna have the class time that you signed up for, you need to be logged in to Zoom at that time. Your teacher will be lecturing or going over the material, but you do have to be on Zoom at that time, just like a normal class you would be in the classroom at that time. Um, if your class is TBA, that is going to operate like an 100% online based class as we did prior to COVID. So that means there is no specific Zoom meeting time, excuse me. Um, you can kind of complete this course um, according to a schedule, but there's no um, lecture time or any time you have to be logged into Zoom. Um, these classes, uh, I would warn you, just be careful, make sure you're still working on them. They can be easy to forget about and just since you're not meeting every day, but um, that is what what TBA means. Um, if you have any more questions or would like a more detailed look at um, uh, like on a schedule, um, you can refer to a um, previous Murrow Minutes episode where we go over scheduling and what COVID, the COVID-19 schedules are going to look like with the online format. Great. Thank you so much, Katie. I appreciate that. Um, for those of you that did watch uh, an episode that Katie and I did earlier this semester, we went into really deep depth about how to read your schedule. Katie actually uh, graciously showed us her schedule and went on my WSU to show how to find all of that information and what her week to week schedule actually looked like this fall semester. So if you have questions, um, please be sure to refer back to that video and um, that kind of goes over in more detail. Um, Anna, do you want to talk about a little bit about how to schedule with your academic advisor um, and our process for that as we move forward into spring? Yeah, so if you guys have questions or concerns regarding your spring 21 schedule, that is open now um, to talk to your advisor. So that's happening now. Make sure you reach out to them um, up until January 4th. So there's still plenty of time to go through that schedule and make sure you guys have all the credits that you need for this next semester. Um, ad advising for fall 2021 and summer 2021 is also happening now. Um, again, you can contact your advisor for help on that. If you, you can schedule an appointment through the SSC Navigate. And if you're not a Murrow student, you can call through the student services phone number, or they also have information on their website to contact your advisor if you need to. Um, but yeah, all the advisors are happy to help right now and that's happening quick. So make sure you guys stay on top of that too. You're absolutely right, Anna. Um, it is happening quick. Our advisors do fill up on to talk to students about their schedule, especially as we get closer to spring. So if you do have questions, be sure to reach out to us, uh, schedule an appointment, uh, give us a call. We'll throw our contact information up here for you as well. Um, but again, if you do have questions about your spring schedule, you don't have to wait until January 19th to ask it at, when classes start to ask those questions. Advisors are back in the office on January 4th. So if you make changes to your schedule over Christmas and you kind of want some ideas about, you know, what it's going to look like or some opinions, um, please make sure to schedule an appointment with your advisor before classes start because advisors are going to be very busy that first week of classes, but we're available to you well before that. So be sure to reach out again, like Anna said, to our office and we'd be happy to help. Um, Finally, my reminder is that we have had a lot of students um, use these videos to kind of get some information about Murrow, um, learn a little bit about what we have going on. So we are planning to continue this series through spring 2021. If you have topics or questions, you can ask your advisor to have us address those. You can contact me at any time um, or any of our Murrow ambassadors and they'd be happy to add that topic to a video for spring 2021. Um, we are planning on returning to some of the topics we visited in the fall. Um, but ultimately, we're really hoping to answer any questions that you guys come up with as we enter into another um, hybrid uh, virtual online uh, semester in spring 2021. 
So hopefully those uh, tips and tricks were helpful uh, for everyone that has questions about how we're moving forward here in the Murrow College. But the, again, the last thing I want to do before we close out this video today is I want to extend a very, very warm and very, very powerful congratulations to our December 2020 graduates. Um, it's very unfortunate that we weren't able to be with you and let you knock on Murrow's door. That's a tradition that I know that many of you have looked forward to for many years. Um, we are really hoping that once we're back in person, we can invite all of our graduates to come back to the Murrow College and celebrate with us in a really big event, um, of course, once that's approved through uh, state and federal uh, guidelines. But we are so, so proud of all of our Murrow graduates. Um, we've worked with a lot of you for many years. You guys have made it through a crazy 2020. Um, you guys can add some really cool things to your resume now, I bet. Um, but we are looking forward to getting to celebrate with you in the future. But please know that all of our students, our faculty and staff are very proud of you and we're looking forward to seeing all of the amazing things that you do in the future. So congratulations to you. Um, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. And for everyone else, well, I think we'll sign off this video as always by saying, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, go Cougs.